Violet Jack! What? What's up, Daddy? You see, I'm finally, I'm finally, I'm finally incorporating Daddy into our uh, banter. I've been trying to figure it out, and now I got it. Daddy, what's up, Daddy? We're Southern <laughs> style. We're Southern style rock show. Listen to that. No, who's a better singer than me? Nobody. I guarantee Nobody. you. You don't. You don't even need to fucking say it. I know it already. When I hear that song and I hear me sing about a beautiful Negro and I'm singing in Spanish, uh, I'm the greatest. Uh, I mean. I can say it for myself. I'm the greatest uh, fucking singer in all the punk rock music. Suck it, everybody else. Go to awesomebomb.net. Check me out. Check out my fucking uh, my beautifulness and my glory and my fucking uh, cool costumes. I got cooler costumes than most wrestlers, Violet Jack. Well, for sure, most wrestlers don't have costumes nowadays. They think they're you know they're supposed to be mixed martial artists. They think they're fighters. Yeah, they all, they all just have names and shit. You know what I mean? It's fucking weak. It's stupid. But you get a little, this new guy, you get, you get a little, this new guy that's gonna be on that next show, the uh, Daniel Bryan, whoever the fuck that is. Okay. Oh that? my god, man! Isn't that horrible? Isn't that terrible? <laughs> Did you see Loki me- mentioned in that? Is Loki's not in the in that group? Is he? Yeah, he, that's the thing. He was supposed to be. Everything I read before, he was supposed to be. But then. When I read all the mentors and who they're mentoring, unless they changed his name from Cabal to like, you know, douche Remington, which would actually be a pretty cool name. <laughs> yeah, you're giving him too much credit for that. But hey, let me ask you something, man. Let me ask you something because this show, I'm gonna tell you right now before we even get fucking started, every pervert in the fucking world is listening right now of some sort or other, and I'm not even saying that in a bad way because as you know. I'm saying in a good way. I'm saying in a loving, in a loving way. And all the people that are going to call in tonight, I would like you to just go ahead and say what's on your mind. Don't try to come up with some bullshit uh, wrestling question. I'd like them to say what's on their mind because that's what kind of show we're running. You know what I mean? But was Jack, we have, we have a fucking almost seven-foot-tall giantess calling tonight. And this is not a giantess that is uh, – that is a hideous, uh, looks like Andre the Giant in drag. She's smoking. She does her hair, makeup. She looks great. She works out. It's fucking perfect. She's great. You know what I mean? And, and you know, you know what kind of people that draws out of out of the woodwork. There's a there's a whole thing. And I think you might be part of that, Violence Jack, if I'm not mistaken. Well, you know, I have to say, in addition to all the other accolades that you bestowed upon her, she must have brains too, because she's yet to be snared by the one and only Sensei. Or the violent sex, for that matter. Yeah, but, well, yeah, you know, but, I mean, but, yeah, but I'm not, you know, I think, of course, I, I mean, I haven't tried yet, but, of course, I'm getting ready to hear when, when we bring her on. It's Isis the Amazon. I mean, Jesus Christ, she's the, she is literally the biggest uh, woman in the history of professional wrestling. I mean, not, not big as in fat-wise, but big as in height and stature and giantness. Like, the, uh, the only other woman I can think of that is close to this big would be uh, Nicole Bass was over six feet tall. She might have been, like, 6'1", but huge bodybuilder. She was obviously on the juice, you know, humongously gigantic. This is the tallest, the biggest. But she didn't look like a chick, you know what I mean? Nicole no, Bass no. didn't. Yeah, I mean, she didn't look like a girl. This, uh, Isis is like a, I mean, she could be a part of the beautiful people. If you added a, a foot and a half to each of the beautiful people, is what I'm saying. I mean, she's got the hair. She knows how to do the makeup, everything. You know what I mean? And I'm telling you, what do you say? I mean, what do you you got? You got a house for her, don't you, Violet Jack? I think you're into oh, that yeah. giant, the giantess so thing, right? I, I know. I, I'm I uh, in some circles, I'm known as the giant slayer. Oh, the giant slayer, you are. Uh, I just. I said, yes. the Amazon, are you there, baby? You yes, hear I what, am. Uh, you, you hear what Violence Jack is saying? This guy's a giant slayer, for fuck's sake. I think, <laughs> well. you, I, I think you have a new uh, a love interest on the uh, Awesome Bomb Fight Radio Show. The, is the co-host, the Juggalo, the fucking real man in makeup, the big guy with a big beard. He is the man, Violence Jack, and I think he's in love. Well, something to slay your worm or about that same size does not equate to giant slaying. Sorry. <laughs> well, well, hey, you know, 
my own head. It would be as if I slayed. I would tell myself oh. I slayed. In fact, I'm going to. I, I'm sure that's exactly what your mom wants to hear. Oh, hi, I just, you know, slayed a giant. Mine. <laughs> oh, oh, wait a second, wait a second. Uh, Isis, this is uh, absolutely a show that your mom should not hear, should not listen to. On, on, on no level should any children or old women be listening. You're going to cardiac arrest. This is a show for old men and, and, and the, uh, the guys who took Attitude Era and ECW All Style to a, a further extent. This is the, if, if you're listening right now and you don't want to hear any filth or, or uh, drunkenness or any uh, retardation, you need to click off now and never listen to this show ever again as far as that's concerned. Because this is, I mean, this is the opposite of all of the, the family-style bullshit, Isis, I'm telling you. I mean, you know what I'm saying, I think. And, and this is what I wanted to get to because of fucking Violence Jack. Is first, let's just let's just break it down. These guys are calling in to the max. You know what I'm saying? They, there's a giantess fetish out there, right? You know, right? And you 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 have that. The only thing you're you're willing to do. So if you guys are listening and you're wanting to call in and ask about uh, uh, apartment wrestling or something like that, you're not down with that, right? You don't do any of it. No. No, I don't. You have to come to my facility, you know, pass a background check, <laughs> and uh, then maybe we'll talk. Right. Hey, hey, maybe we'll what? What did she say? Maybe no, we'll no, what? no. Maybe we'll talk. Talk. <laughs> oh, oh, talk. I'm like, what? Right. Uh, oh, my God. I <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, but, I mean, I would say a lot of these, uh, you, because I'm sure – I mean, you have to hear it all the time because of your height. You're you're six nine ish, right? I mean, you're up there, real tall. Right, right. I'm six I mean, you're, nine you're and a quarter, the, legit. You are literally the tallest woman in the history of professional wrestling. Do you know that? Yes, I do. <laughs> and that, I mean, that has to be. You were down in the WWE developmental for a minute. You got a, a tryout or something, didn't you? Yeah. And what happened with that? Did it, did it just not happen, or, or or did they say, like, get some more experience to come back, or, like, what uh, happened? Go ahead and get some more experience, and then we'll give you a an, an tryout the next year, which would be this spring. So I look forward it, to it. <laughs> have, have the, have the uh, has TNA or Ring of Honor showed any interest at all? Um, not so much. Right now I'm recovering, so I'll be back on my game in about, you know, in the middle of March. Are you kind of, are you holding out for WWE or would you be willing to do uh, TNA? No, I think, it's great. I think TNA's the women division is definitely, if not more challenging than WWE. I mean, WWE has a great training facility. They have the top trainers. I'm not sure about TNA because I never had the privilege of you know going to TNA, but I do know WWE has a lot to be learned. You know, you go there and you're just like, wow, there's so much to learn here. The thing about Japan, how much bigger you would be than everyone. You need to go to Japan and come back. <laughs> well, believe it or not, I am. Uh, I do have Korean in my ethnicity, so. <laughs> have you been? I'm have from you, China, man. <laughs> Have you been offered anything from Japan? I mean, in Japan, you would. I, I can't um, imagine that you wouldn't make a fortune. Well, right now I have my friend Sumi Saki. She told me that. Um, there's a few promoters over there that are interested, and I told her I need to finish recovering. So as soon as that's all done, I can start my venture over in Japan, <laughs> which what I think is great. From? What, what, what is this recovery? Were you oh, injured? nothing. It's an injury, yeah. What, what injury? What did you get? Did you break your – did you sit vicious your leg or – did you get, no. did you get like, <laughs> a, a, a gallbladder fucking removed? I mean, what, what, how bad is the injury that we're talking about recovering from? I mean, well, like, I, have, um, I had complications with recovery from the whole, I don't know if you've been to my website, but if you go to my website, I have a blog up where an accident occurred during a match in which I was in Portland, Oregon, and a guy basically slit my wrist open. 